Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. Today I would like to do a color and chat out of these books by Sun Life Drawing. Yes, folks, you heard it here first. I am actually doing a color and chat. <laughs> uh, these are the Black Edition Mosaic Mandalas. This version is the color by number version, which Sun Life Drawing so kindly sent to me for review. Thank you, Sun Life Drawing. And I liked it so much that I went ahead and bought on my own the um, non-color by number version. And this one's called the Adult Coloring Book. Not they're, they're not both adult coloring books, but uh, I guess that's how they wanted to distinguish the color by number versus the non-color by number. So, because these are on the black background, and I did do flip throughs of both of these books in a previous video. Um, if I remember, I will link that down below in the description. These uh, mandalas are quite easy to do because of the black background. It's much easier to um, color. You don't have to worry so much about staying within the lines. <laughs> so it's kind of nice, um, especially for alcohol markers. I think for these kinds of books, alcohol markers are perfect. So what I thought it would be kind of neat to see is we will do the first picture out of this book following their typical color palette which is this mandala. And then we would go ahead and color the exact same mandala in our own colors. Won't that be fun? Kind of compare the palette that they picked out versus one that we want to pick out. So I thought, because I have not used them for a while, I have the 80 set of the Aspire Color markers that Aspire Colors sent me. Um, a while back for review. Uh, this is the very initial first set that was out on the market and they were looking for feedback. Uh, very responsive uh, company to feedback. Um, I know they came up with a new updated set uh, based on the feedback that they got from all of us that reviewed this initial set. Uh, the initial set um, actually came with a little bit too much ink in them. I have not had a problem with mine, but I know a lot of people said that they would pop the caps off and, oh, one moment please. Okay, where was I before we were so rudely interrupted? Well, actually it wasn't too rudely, it was the UPS guy. Yay, we always like that kind of interruption, right? So I'll have another flip through for you guys. <laughs> um, but as I was saying, I have not had the problem that others said they have been having when you take the caps off and they're so full that ink kind of splatters out on your paper, on your picture. I have not had that issue. However, I did have some problems with some colors being very similar uh, to other colors. And they indicated to me that they are going to be coming out with and now it is out um, with some new colors, taking out some of the colors that are duplicates. I know there were a couple of markers that had uh, misspellings on. They corrected that. I did see that Anne from A Colorful Life received the updated version of these markers. So if you haven't already, go out and check a Colorful Life, and she recently has a video out on the newer version of these markers. Um, I have a review video out there on this set, and if I think of it, I will link that video down below also. A lot to remember here. So let's go ahead and pop these open. I will link this case down below too, um, as well as the markers. I love these cases. This is the 80 slot case. It does also come in a 60 slot case and they're just so nice. It just, um, there's little slots down in here that hold each marker in place. So yeah, I, I really like this. And with the handles, it's just so nice and portable. So I know you're kind of close right now, <laughs> but that was for the coloring part. Okay. So let me get out my 
swatch chart so that we can match up the colors that we need. The first thing I did want to show though, however, and, and this is just some happy mail that I received from a subscriber. Uh, she noticed in my wish list on Amazon that I had these two Jade Summer books on my wish list. She contacted me, indicated that she had them sitting on her bookshelf and they were just collecting dust. So she so kindly went ahead and forwarded them on to me. Was that not kind of you? Thank you. I didn't know if you wanted me to mention your name, so I'm not going to. Um, but thank you, thank you. It was so kind of you. This one is Lazy Dogs, and it is just adorable. And here are the duplicates, as all Jade Summer books have. So, yeah, I want to get out my uh, alcohol markers, color something out of there. And then we have Cute Cats, and I did not have this one either. Look at these kitties. Are they not adorable? <laughs> so, yeah, another really cute cute one it's a little more detailed than the lazy dogs but uh still real oh look at that chubby one so i'm not going to do complete flip throughs of these um i'm assuming there's probably a lot of flip throughs of these two books out there but i just wanted to show my happy mail that i got from one of you wonderful subscribers and thank you so much again it was very kind of you to uh forward those on to me seeing as how you weren't using them I really really appreciate it a couple more books to add to my Jade Summer collection <laughs> could never have too many of those right anyhow let's get on with this I'm going to start as I do all of my mandalas I'm going to start right in the middle and that one is number 15. Let me zoom you in and I'm going to show you or I'm going to attempt to. The numbers on here are very very light gray. If you have um, a vision um, impairment might be kind of hard to see these but for the majority of you who do not like the number showing through when you're done coloring them uh, this is probably really good for you because the majority of them with the exception of like your yellows your really light colors uh, the majority of the numbers won't show through so let's get going number 15 is aqua green so let's look on my color chart and let's see what aqua green is okay and I think mint green light yeah let's take mint green light and that is g58 here we go all right i'll zoom you back in a little not quite as close as i was before eh, close enough <laughs> okay my gosh it has been so long since i talked with you guys and i first and foremost want to apologize <laughs> i'm gonna do number 16 light blue um i have just been well if you've been with my channel you know this already i'm gonna go with pale blue light pb 185 um, we have decided to move and so oh my gosh I got to put a piece of paper behind see out of practice here here we go um, and so I have just been uh, busy is not the word <laughs> oh my goodness going and well i got the main bathroom done all the drawers gone through and i have a big two drawer um well two door i mean cabinet very deep cabinet 
that you can really pile a lot of the stuff in over the number of years that I've lived here. It's amazing what you can all pack into places. Got that all cleaned out. Threw out a ton of stuff. I figure if it has not seen the light of days in a number of years, I don't need it. <laughs> right? Uh, went through all the drawers, got my bedroom, my, oh, I have a closet that is pretty much wall to wall. I mean, it's gigantic. And so I had gone through my closet, cleaned off the shelves. The only thing that's left in there now is all my clothes. And I still don't know what to do with all of them. It is all my work clothes from when I was a paralegal. And yes, it is jam-packed full of both clothes and dozens and dozens of I liked wearing dress ankle boots with my suits. And because I am very matchy-matchy, dark blue. Let's see. Okay, let's go with cobalt because they're dark blue and their their blue blue is not real dark so I think I'm just gonna go with PB 71 um, -dum. so anybody that has moved knows exactly what I am talking about especially if you have lived in a big house for any length of time so yeah, I have, over the weekend, I uh, finally got around to painting my daughter's room, which in and of itself is, uh, my adult daughter, no less, this, this was an adult daughter, not a child. Her room was painted light blue when I moved in here or I should say I painted it light blue. And when she was in that room, she decided it would be a neat idea to take a black Sharpie. Midnight, no, no, one moment. <clears throat> Leave them alone. Uh, take a black Sharpie and write all over her walls. Yeah, not just a little bit, but every single wall space there was. And they were they were very positive things. They were music lyrics, uh, kind of like almost daily affirmation type words. You know, so they were, I actually sat and I read every single one of them <laughs> before I painted. And they were all really interesting, but... I don't know why she thought she had to write them in black Sharpie all over the walls. Oh, don't worry, Mom. I'll paint it. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like that happened. So I last week bought some white because I thought, nah, let's just paint it back to white. And then the people who buy the house can paint it whatever color they want if they don't want it white. So I bought a nice paint. It was a paint and primer in one. It was supposed to be a one coat coverage. <laughs> you know where I'm going with this story, right? <laughs> Let's see, 11 is yellow. And it's a really light yellow. Mm, let's go with Y37 pastel yellow. I thought with these being super juicy markers, they would be perfect for on these black background mandalas. Because if you do happen to go, you know, that spreads outside the line on these mandalas, it doesn't matter. Anyhow, so I go to, you know, prepping the room, you know, having to put up the painter's tape around the windows and around the doors, baseboards, you name it. 
start finally painting and it was not covering the black sharpie at all so then i thought okay i'm gonna let that dry go back over it again uh nope black sharpie can be very stubborn i was getting very disgusted by this time it was saturday night and uh yeah had white paint in my hair paint all over my legs <laughs> my arms i told bob i said okay i am going to quick run into town i am going to get at that time i had seen some because i just bought some pre-mixed you know nothing that they had to mix up just off the off the shelf paint and at the time and i bought it from walmart they had a pretty like a silver light silver gray i thought okay let's get that number seven is red let's look at the red okay your typical red let's go with our 11 carmine where are we hmm there we go okay um ran back into walmart no silver gray left on the shelf i'm like this was not meant to be this just was not meant to be but they had a light brown called caramel and i thought well that wouldn't be too bad it, i didn't want to go too dark because it is one of the smaller bedrooms in this house and you all know that the darker the color you go the more small it makes the room look so i did not want to go dark i wanted to keep it light but i thought well that maybe wouldn't be too bad so went ahead had them mix it up for me so i didn't have to stir like crazy <laughs> quick zoomed back home and in the meantime Bob had finished using the white to go over the black lettering some more so that this paint would cover it up more easily and it did it it covered it up because I went with a more expensive brand then too I bought the Glidden primer and paint and it did it covered it up really well and so I proceeded to work until after midnight in that room. <laughs> but I got it done. And then, then came the next day, yesterday. And I went in and I looked at it and I'm like, oh my gosh, this looks horrible. <laughs> It ended up being real streaky and I had a nice bright light number 15 is aqua green oh that's that color again I mean it looked good while I was doing it uh, yeah not so much and Bob is like well who cares if it ain't good enough they can repaint it and I said Bob the whole purpose for painting it in the first place was so that it looked nice so I proceeded to repaint the whole room again. Oh, uh, thank God I still had the tape on. I did have to tape up along the ceiling. And I touched up the ceiling with the white first because the ceiling was white originally. And when I had painted it blue to a, you know, to begin with, I had gotten some blue on the ceiling and I had just left it <laughs> but now that I had the white I figured I might as well touch up the blue that was on the ceiling and then let that dry then use the painters tape go around 
and paint up the, or tape up the ceiling part so when I colored the top part of the wall with the caramel that I wouldn't get any on the ceiling and that worked pretty well so the bedroom is now finally painted one more thing to check off my to-do list because yes I am a huge list maker right now that list just includes all the big things <laughs> once I get the majority of the stuff checked off that list then we will make another list <laughs> and that will be all the smaller things like you know washing the doors especially the one like coming in from the garage and I want to the wall coming in um, from the door or from the garage there's a small wall as you're coming through the door and because of course you come through that door after you park in the garage and you always have things in your arms you know uh, that wall gets scraped up a lot because it's right next to the door and so I want to look in the basement they the people who had this house before me left a whole bunch of paint down in I think it's actually supposed to be a fruit cellar but the one shelf has a whole bunch of paint so I want to see if they left it's kind of like a a lighter version maybe of this green well it's kind of like a sage green I guess and that is in the laundry room area that you uh, when you first come in from the garage right there are my washer and dryer but then the whole kitchen is colored that area or colored that also so um, I'm assuming they had to buy quite a bit of this sage green color so I'm hoping there's some down there and that it's still okay and if not I am going to take a picture of it and just go and match some up as best I can just get like a pint of it touch up that wall and I don't think I have to do any other painting other than you know washing walls and stuff but yeah uh, found a person who because I had posted a want ad <laughs> on Craigslist looking for moving boxes and I had gotten a response so stopped and picked those up last Friday and so bought some extra strapping tape so that I have a bunch that I can tape up boxes with can never have enough of that stuff right oh gosh so yeah that's why I apologize for the lack of videos well lack of color and chats anyhow I did take the time earlier this week wait a minute I lied it wasn't earlier this week today's Monday isn't it I'm losing track of days um must have been earlier last week <laughs> Tuesday maybe Wednesday Tuesday I think um took some time out to take a breath <laughs> and record a number of shorter videos mainly flip throughs of some books I had received and then also those uh, new Tombow colors so I at least had something to put out for you guys every day those videos have now all been posted and I've really been meaning to do a color in the chat for over a week now <clears throat> and just something would constantly happen something would come up or I would be so dead tired I couldn't even <laughs> keep my head up when I sat in my chair I'm like oh my gosh 
oh I've been some pretty long days and there's going to be a lot of long days coming up because I want to get as much of this done if not all of it done before Maddie Jaden and the new little one come back well I should say when Heather goes back to work if you're new to my channel my I babysit my grandkids um, every day well Jaden will be going back to school but I'll have him after school Maddie is she turned three a couple of months ago and now Heather just had another little one and she had a little boy and I don't think in my last color in chat they had even picked a name out yet that's how long it's been oh and he will be two weeks tomorrow already I can't believe that <laughs> but they named him Levi James and I told Heather, I says, it reminds me of Levi Jeans. <laughs> she goes, oh my gosh, I never even thought of that. <laughs> uh, but yes, little Levi. And I guess that's getting to be a popular name again. It was either going to be Levi or Eli. And I like that name too. But my youngest daughter, Mallory, she said... Don't you dare name him Eli. That's the name I want if I have a boy. <laughs> oh, my heavens. So I don't know if that's one of the reasons that uh, she ended up naming him Levi so that she wouldn't take my other daughter's name <laughs> that she wanted. Okay, one moment, please. Okay, I am back once again. Um... Bob went to bed. He uh, kind of went to bed a little early tonight. He's he's tuckered too. I had he so nicely helped me out in the basement over the weekend. I had asked him if, and I didn't mean to do it right away, but he did um, to take the vacuum and vacuum out all the window wells in the basement because they have lots of creepy crawly things in them. Cobwebs, spider webs, spiders, bugs. Ew. I don't mind pretty much anything. I don't mind snakes, don't mind mice, rats, you know, some things that people just ew, are, you know, but me and spiders, no. I don't care how little they are. Oh, oh gives me the heebie-jeebies just talking about it. So he took the older vacuum that you can't vacuum the floors with, but it has great suction power when you use the hose part on it. Works great. And he got it for free. So it's like, eh, why not? We keep it out in the garage and then anything that you need to vacuum up using a, a wand we use that and it doesn't have bags you just empty the canister you know and so he went down with that vacuumed all of that out vacuumed pretty much everything down there except for the floor which i'm going to do and I think I'm going to quick steam clean it too, even though it's a huge, huge family room. It's the entire length of my house. But that was party central when <laughs> my kids lived at home. And as you can imagine, playing beer pong and all that stuff down there, a lot of stuff got spilt. And it's just really old, old carpeting down there has a... Uh, 70s theme to it and because uh, it's original carpeting from the house my house was built in the 70s so i mean it's not like it's good carpeting but uh yeah so i thought i would just kind of go do a once over on that oh now we got dark blue i don't think i did dark blue yet let's see yeah see their dark blue is not dark either but i think i'll use the 
cobalt blue PB71. I gotta turn these markers all the right way. Some of them are upside down. Where is PB71? 71, 71. I see 74. That's brilliant blue. Let's see. Cobalt blue. Oh, I must have used it already. Yep, but I do need the other one too, so I'll leave it out. Okay, so 18, yeah. Okay, so yeah, that's all vacuumed up. And then I have a bunch of old, old furniture down there that I brought with me. Thinking, eh, it would be good for down in the basement. Well, yeah, it's all real musty smelling and it's just not you know, worth keeping. But what to do with all of this old furniture? It's a great big sectional that has a, you know, a sleeper in it, a queen size sleeper, and two recliners in the other end. So as you can imagine, it's extremely heavy and a big couch <laughs> that's extremely heavy two huge rocker recliners <coughs> excuse me so at least the rocker recliners you can take the backs off like most rocker recliners you can they're still gonna be a little awkward getting up the steps but i had no idea how we were gonna get that sectional and the couch back up the stairs. It was bad enough getting them down there. And then of course coming up the steps is gonna be a lot worse. The stairway going down is really narrow. Steps are kind of steep. So my son is going to come out. We're doing this all on this Saturday. And now they're saying there's a chance of rain. Um, but what Bob did this weekend is going to help them out. <laughs> he went down there with a saw. <laughs> and he, you know, an electrical saw, not, not a hand saw. But uh, he cut the couch in half. <laughs> and he cut up the sectional into pieces. <laughs> Uh, because Bob can't really be lifting that heavy stuff anymore. And he is probably not going to be here because he is finally going to go to the drag races that are up in Brainerd, Minnesota this weekend. So I'm glad he's going to go and enjoy that. He's been talking about it. He used to go pretty much every year. And the past number of years, he used to go, always go to the Joliet, Illinois one. But travel-wise, it's about a horse apiece between Joliet, Illinois and Brainerd's uh, NHRA drag racing. And so, yep, yeah, he's going to go up to Brainerd probably Friday afternoon spend the night up there then Friday night so that he can be there bright and early on Saturday enjoy the races and then come back so he's going to be borrowing a truck and a trailer from his boss well it's, it's his boss's trailer and another guy he works with his truck and the other guy is actually the boss's son so kind of family run business and so he was going to get those Friday already park them in the back of my house on the lawn <laughs> but it'll be so much easier for the guys when they bring the furniture up they go right straight out the back door so and then instead of having to carry it all the way around the house to the driveway we thought, well, we'll just park the truck in the trailer right by the back door. And hopefully it won't rain and this won't tear up the lawn. 
So my son and my daughter's fiance um, said that they would come out and help get that stuff up. So hopefully those two will be able to do it. Get that all up. I have some twin mattresses down there and I mean there's a number of other things. And then, you know, what do you do with this stuff once you get it up? <laughs> Where do you take it? Well, we have a Marathon County landfill. I think it's called a solid waste something or another. And you can take your large items there and you just pay by the ton you know, of, of what you're dumping off. So it shouldn't cost us too much to uh, get rid of it there. But it's just, don't know if it's all going to fit on one trailer. Bob has a trailer, but uh, his boss's is bigger. So we're hoping between the truck and the trailer, we can fit most of this stuff on. So we'll see. Especially with him uh, cutting those up, we could maybe stack them on the trailer a little bit better. Especially that section. Oh, that's the thing I was worried about the most. Because it is the biggest and most awkward. It's just a two-piece sectional, so it's got kind of a bend to it, you know. So the two pieces would fit together. So yeah, now with having them cut up, we could maybe fit them on there better. They'll come up the steps easier. So, yeah. Ooh, I am really liking these colors together. I think they're pretty. And it's colors that I would have never picked out. That's why I like their color by numbers. Pretty much any color by number. Number one, they're fun to color. Number two, it's so neat to see color palettes that you typically would not put together, right? I don't know about you, but I so many times will stick to kind of a, you know, you have your favorites, it seems. And I kind of switch between them. Now, even if you use the exact same color palette on two different mandalas or two different patterns, they're going to look completely different. Got a little flying bug under here. You can tell I color with glitter gel pens over here a lot because I got glitter all over. <laughs> Imagine that. Who would have thought Lisa would have glitter on her desk? So yeah, I apologize in advance if my next Heaven only knows how many color and chats are going to be all about house hunting, packing up, moving. Yeah, no. But I guess that's what's first and foremost on my mind. What's stressing me out. What's <laughs> kind of overwhelming me at the moment. 16, a light blue. Um, so, yeah. Um, we have been house hunting and I have been working with a realtor, but boy, we've had some bad luck. It's like every house I ask them about, past couple of houses have been on the market for one day and I'll contact her. The first one I contacted her about, um, it was gone in a day. In a day, they had an accepted offer. I'm like, oh my gosh. My realtor was not kidding when they said it's a seller's market right now. Wow. I couldn't believe it. And then another house that I thought looked really nice and in our price range. Contacted her about. And it was on the market for one day. And no, it didn't sell, but the seller pulled it back off the market. And she says that was very strange. She said she has never seen that happen before. 
and when they got back to her they said it was due to family issues so whatever that means I don't know if you know one wanted to sell and the other didn't or maybe something with the kids I don't know but now she contacted me today she goes guess what that house is back on the market <laughs> so we are going to go and look at it tomorrow afternoon so that's exciting we did actually get to go and see one house but it was quite old and not that these other houses we're looking at aren't old too but most of them have a lot of really nice you know they've been recently updated beautiful kitchens and you know updated flooring and you know so so they don't look real old they maybe are you know 50 75 years old but they don't look it and a lot of those older homes are the ones that have the nice big bedrooms so I don't have a problem with old um, you know as long as they're updated many times you know even the furnaces and the roofing will be new so that's all stuff you know I kind of look at too if it is an older house how old are you know like the roofing and furnace and you know things you kind of need to be mindful of 17 is the regular blue okay this one my gosh and then we're going to be done with this already that didn't take long did it so yeah we will go ahead and do another one haven't talked to you guys in so long anyhow so now this one very closely represents or represents oh my very similar to the dark blue so if i color these mandalas with this set of markers again i will have to choose differently i'm assuming it will lighten up a little bit because these are printed with black backings on them so when you first lay down color they are darker than when they dry and i guess if if it really bothered me i could take the blue go back over what's supposed to be dark blue again make it a little bit darker but on a mandala it just doesn't matter that much does it oh this is really pretty i don't know who picks out their colors for their color by number books but they do a great job <laughs> so gosh i don't even know if i asked you this how rude of me i just got into my whole spiel how is everybody any new and exciting news on your end of the world <laughs> since we last talked a couple of weeks ago oh my heavens it is a Monday not sure if I'm going to be able to get this up yet tonight um, because there are a number of matter of fact I know I won't <laughs> now that I think about it because there are a number of other videos as long as I have everything set up there are a number of other videos I want to make yet tonight so that I can get some things done around the house again tomorrow look through my uh, ever-growing to-do list and hopefully I can check off one or two things tomorrow huh? hopefully so yeah I do have a few flip throughs for you guys um, new product coloring product to show you and just as a prelude to a 
up and coming video. I was supposed to receive these today. I have been waiting for, uh, let's see, probably about seven, eight months <laughs> to receive these. Yes, over half a year because it is something that I supported on Kickstarter and they finally got shipped and let's see they got shipped last week or the week before and I was supposed to get them today and now they were delayed so I am supposed to get them tomorrow so that'll be a video to do did that not turn out pretty or what oh my gosh I really really like that wow the reason why I wanted to do the first one out of both of these books is this is a book that I do want to finish to complete and I'm just going to start from the first mandala work my way right through it so um, yep this is the first one isn't that pretty I will link these two books down below also boy I sure hope I remember to do all these links <laughs> Let's get out the other book. Now, where did I put it on my desk? Oh my gosh, I have so much stuff around here because it's stuff that I am going to be doing for my other videos. I put it under my Happy Mail books. That's where I put it. Okay, so this is the other version. Again, this is the exact same as that other book, except this does not have the numbers in. So, I am going to put back the colors that I had out I have to go through here and put them all in the correct order again let's see we'll just put them wherever for now they're about in the right spot I'll just have to double check okay so what colors shall we use for this one? See, these are so nice and easy and fast to do. They're just so nice and relaxing. How about if we just throw some... We're just going to throw some colors at it. Yes, we are. Let's see. Hmm. We had none of my favorites in the other one, which is purples and pink. So we're going to have to get some of that in here. So we'll do like some purples, pinks, blues. And probably, well, I don't know. So I'm going to pull out pale pink. RP9. RP9. Okay. So that's a light one. Then... Pale purple is actually a darker purple. So I think we will pull out that. RP89. And then a couple of purples. We're going to go with a light purple. Pastel violet. P84. And then a dark purple. Deep violet. P81. Let's do that. We are going to pull my favorite. Well, I wonder if I should do pale pink or pastel. I think because pale pink is a whole different type of pink. And that's what I pulled, wasn't it? Yeah. Let's go with the uh, RP17. I think that will match the other colors a bit. So we're going to go with these four colors. If you've seen me color patterns in the past, you know that I like to use... A limited color palette the fewer <laughs> the better a lot of times I'll color my patterns with just two colors if I can depends upon the pattern or three usually four colors <coughs> oh, excuse me <laughs> good stuff um, but yeah I I really like most of my patterns have four colors in them so let's start out with this light pink in the middle and 
then I think we will go with the light purple and hmm, do I want the light purple and dark purple or light purple and darker pink let's do that that'll contrast a little more okay so where were we I think I was asking how you guys were doing <laughs> Now that I'm already done with the whole first mandala, I finally ask you guys how you're doing. How rude of me. My heavens. And I will try to uh, get on a different subject other than moving. <laughs> uh, my next color in chat that I plan on doing, and heaven help me, it better be uh, sooner than, oh, let me zoom you in a little better be sooner than two weeks right I it's so nice of you guys to uh there were a few of you that said help we're going through color and chat withdrawal <laughs> oh man I haven't even gotten to uh I try to keep up with the comments on my videos because I just I so enjoy reading through them I thank you guys for your kind comments. I just, I love it. And I try to, as much as possible, keep up with them in a timely manner. I have not gotten around to it today yet. So hopefully tonight or in the morning before I get busy again. Um, I did not get too much done today because Heather... Um, her son Jaden had a dentist appointment this morning for a cleaning and he is still kind of hesitant about going back there by himself and so Heather usually goes back with him and it was kind of crowded enough when uh, her and Maddie had to go back there and sit with him because as we all know, these little uh, tiny dental, well, you can't even call them offices or rooms. They're just kind of sectioned off pretty much. You know, they're pretty small. <laughs> but now with little Levi, it's pretty impossible for her to go back with him anymore. So she asked if I would come in and meet her there and then go back with him and she would sit out in the waiting room with the two younger ones so went in for that and then we went out to eat for lunch which was right next to cost cutters where i get my hair cut so i thought okay after we're done eating i am just gonna walk over there because it was in the same little strip mall and I'm going to see if my hairstylist actually was working that day. And by some miracle, she doesn't have a color or a perm going on. <laughs> she is just swamped. She is just my absolute favorite there. And she is the absolute favorite of a lot of people. Because she is really hard to get into. <laughs> so, um, I walked over there. And guess who's there? Jenny, my hairstylist, is there. <laughs> it's like, wow, what are the odds? What are the odds? And uh, But she was finishing up with a color. And it was going to be like 45 minutes yet. And I thought, well, I have to get in to get my hair cut anyhow. I might as well long as i'm in town heaven knows i am you know busy right now and it's hard for me to get into town to do it so ran to walmart while i was waiting had to get some more strapping tape anyhow to tape up boxes and just kind of you know puttered away in there for a while to waste some time and came back and it was still another mm, probably 10-15 minutes because naturally 
some of the gray in this lady's hair did not take the color real well and so she had to reapply it in that area so took a little bit longer but that's okay it's got my hair cut done now and now I can because I color my own at home um, much cheaper right and uh, so now I can go ahead and do that one of these days that's another thing I put off too long put off getting a haircut and I put off dyeing my hair I don't dye my hair color my hair I should say very often I probably color them twice a year and yeah it's been quite a while maybe three times a year probably as uh, I get more and more gray hair I'll be coloring them more often <laughs> Surprisingly, I don't have that many gray hair yet. As much as my kids have put me through. Hmm. <laughs> I had a sweatshirt once and it says uh, Mom's Gray Hairs, H-A-R-E-S. And it had um, buddies on it. And the number of bunnies depended on how many kids you had. You know, you could personalize the sweatshirt. You could get it in a t-shirt or a coffee mug or anything. And then you personalized it with your kids' names. Or they also had nanas, you know, gray hairs. You could put all your grandkids' names on it. And that sweatshirt it was from before I lost all my weight. So now it's gigundo and it's stained and so I just wear it for around here but I really would like to get another one of those. I think it was so cute but I really wouldn't be able to get a grandma one yet because I'm assuming I'll be having more grandkids sometime in the future. I'm waiting for Cameron to announce that they're going to be expecting. They've been married now for, what, two and a half years? So he will make a great daddy. He's a good kid. <coughs> and his wife is just super, super sweet. I just adore her. Such a sweetie pie. She was an only child, but let me tell you, she was not a spoiled only child. She was, she was raised right. Very considerate, very nice. So Cameron did good. And thankfully her parents liked Cameron too. <laughs> Cameron's a pretty polite, nice kid too, so... So, let's see, what else is going on? Bob and I did go up to visit Heather and the baby on Saturday. Took time out of our busy schedule to run up to Tomahawk, because, you know, that is an hour drive each way. Spent a few hours up there, and we timed it because we were, you know, that was... The day we were supposed to see that one house and we thought okay we'll time it so we're up there for a few hours to visit come back down to Wassa and then go see this house right away well yeah then that's the one that they pulled off the market right away so it's like oh jeez but yeah now we get to go and see it but yeah baby doing good just likes to cluster feed. It's very attached to mom. I just can't understand why. <laughs> I said, sure. What am I going to do when I start babysitting him? I can't do what you do. <laughs> 
she <coughs> oh my gosh excuse me oh my heavens she could not believe because Levi needed to be nursed when uh, we were at the dental office and uh, you know she's got one of those uh, privacy sheets or whatever you know to, to put in front and so you can nurse um, you know some moms don't even use that anymore it's you know pretty widely accepted now but I said you know back in my day you know when the dinosaurs roamed the earth when I had you guys I said breastfeeding in public was not a thing not even if you covered up you know she said well what did you do if the baby needed to be fed I said you went in the bathroom she goes, are you kidding me? I said, no. <laughs> uh, anybody else run into that? Uh, you've got to be kidding me. I said, no. People didn't want to see that. And it's like, it's, you know, should be the most natural, most awesome thing in the world. Oops, sorry. I was all off camera. And yet, because it is the part of body that it is, you know, it was really frowned upon when, you know, all you're doing is you're, you're using your body to do what God intended it to do. Right? Of course, breastfeeding is really come, making a comeback, too or has for quite a while you know there for a while it was uncommon to breastfeed babies it was almost more common to bottle feed a baby than to breastfeed and a long time ago you really didn't hear of bottle feeding you know they didn't have much in the way of formulas and stuff of course that was before my time that was a long time ago but you know things have really it always seems to come full circle just like you hear more and more now like when i had my oldest daughter to save on money i did not use disposable diapers i used cloth diapers and let me tell you that is a pain in the butt i would never do it again <laughs> oh my gosh you know, not only just all the washing, but, you know, when they go poo, you know, rinsing that all out. and ugh. You know, the plastic pants over the top of the diaper. And, ugh. No. <laughs> it was much cheaper than having to buy diapers. No doubt about it. Diapers can get very expensive. For some reason, these babies just seem to go through diapers a lot <laughs> I mean they're so demanding they got to be changed every few hours <laughs> I don't know why it's like one time I went out to eat and I had said to Bob I said god I'm hungry and I said I don't know why I'm so hungry I just ate yesterday and the waitress heard me say that and she just started laughing <laughs> and I'll say that to my grandkids I'll say it to Jaden I'm hungry how can you be hungry you just ate yesterday <laughs> it just gives me this look grandma <laughs> uh. And Maddie, of course, she's the little mockingbird, so she go, yeah, you just ate yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> and Jane would go, so did you. So when I went up and, you know, Bob and I went up to, to visit on Saturday, oh my gosh, little Maddie, she jumped up into my arms and she hugged me tight and would not let go for i bet you 15 minutes <laughs> it was so cute i go to heather i go you think she missed me so i go to maddie i go did you miss grandma and she just shakes her head <laughs> that was so cute 
so yeah I missed that little tyke too so I really don't have any Maddie stories for you guys let me think do I have a Maddie story hmm because now I haven't seen her for a while Uh, I have a funny thing to tell you, though. Oh, my gosh. Every time I think of it, I start laughing all over again. <laughs> Bob and I, after, um, no, actually, before we went to Heather's, um, we stopped at Culver's to eat on the way for lunch. And so we were sitting there eating, and Bob, you know, he always talks about work and stuff and what's going on and you know who's pulling what crap and, <laughs> and he talks about this one gal there quite a bit she is just a piece of work very self-centered and uh, recently got married well I shouldn't say recently um, probably a couple years ago and so then earlier this year she had a baby why this woman had a baby I do not know because like I said she's very self-centered it's me 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 and now she can't understand why she doesn't have any time for herself but yet she wants another one try to figure that one out and her husband's been sick so now he can't help with the baby so she's got to do it all Oh, my heavens, it's like, grow up, woman. You better not have another one. I can't imagine what this poor child's going to turn out like. Anyhow, that's not the story. That wasn't funny at all. Was Bob was talking about what she wore to work on Friday. He goes, I can't believe what she wore. I wouldn't have been caught dead in that. And I said, why? What was so bad? Well, it was a pair of those, you know, those really tight pants that, like, come down to the ankle. I go, you mean, like, leggings? Yeah, except it had these great big cheetah prints on them. <laughs> so I'm assuming they were, like, big leopard print, you know. And I said, well, I said, a lot of people wear those. Yeah, but she's got such skinny legs on the bottom and they're so big and fat on the top and she's got such a big butt she looked like an ostrich <laughs> and I laughed so hard and I said an ostrich well he said and then he says well good heavens you know she it's like it's like a drumstick <laughs> It's so skinny on the bottom. <laughs> I think I laughed for five minutes straight. Oh, <laughs> uh, as you can tell, because I'm still laughing. Oh, God, that was so funny. Oh, my gosh. My eyes are watering again. Oh, that was just so funny. He can have a dry sense of humor sometimes or no sense of humor sometimes. But sometimes when he comes out with stuff, it is so funny. <laughs> it's like a drumstick. <laughs> I had to tell Heather that one, and she was laughing until she had tears in her eyes, too. Oh, my gosh. That was funny. I was thinking of it last night, and I, I burst out laughing again. Oh, you know, you know, you ever do that? You find something so funny, and it can be days later, and you think of it, and you just start laughing all over again. Oh, that's how this is. See, I'm still laughing about it today. Oh, God, it was so funny. We were eating at Culver's. I almost spit my French fry out. <laughs> oh, God. Ah, uh, that was my laugh for the day. I hope I uh, helped you to laugh today. <laughs> At least smile. <laughs> oh, I said, thank you, Bob. That was the stress relief I needed. 
Oh man, oh man, I tell ya. We had some, there was something on the news the other day. Kind of to switch subjects quickly here. It just, it just boggled my mind how somebody could do this to another person. This woman, she was from Wisconsin that this happened to. She took a shower with um, new bottles of shampoo and cream rinse that she recently bought at Walmart. And she was washing her hair and all of a sudden all of her hair started falling out in clumps in her hand. And they even showed a picture that she took of just huge clumps of her hair down in the bathtub. And I'm like, oh my God. And so the only thing that they can figure out, because they uh, tested the shampoo and cream rinse, because that's the only thing, you know, there's that bug again. The only thing they could figure out, you know, that was different from what she normally did was the new bottles of shampoo and cream rinse conditioner. And as it turns out, somebody must have put Nair in the bottle of conditioner. Is that not unbelievable? Oh, I just, I'm like, are you kidding me? Now, why? You know, what kick are they going to get out of that? It's not like they're going to watch them, you know, lose their hair. And I'm not saying it was definitely a kid, but it could possibly have just been some kid goofing around or who knows. But this woman had such an awesome attitude about it. She had her hair in a, well, what was left up in a scarf, but she took the scarf off and here she had had her head shaved. But she goes, eh, she says, it'll grow back. And she had really nice long hair. But I said, you know what? Maybe when they grow back in, she'll end up liking a short do and she'll stay with short hair. Who knows? <laughs> but yeah, she had an awesome, awesome attitude about it. So it happened to a good person. She was a younger gal. Um, I would say, I don't know. I'm a horrible uh, judge of age but I would say 20s mid 20s so yeah younger person but I just why do people do the things they do I just I don't understand what this world is coming to sometimes just oh. and we definitely will not go into all that because there's just been too much on the news lately it's, you know, every morning you wake up, you expect to see something. Some mass shooting, some, you know, it's just the times we live in. It's so unfortunate. It's awful, awful. <clears throat> okay, let's... Hmm. Hate to put the dark pink and light pink together, but... Well, I guess we're almost going to have to because I don't want to put the dark purple up here and we've used the light purple quite a bit. So I guess we're going to. And I think I'm going to have both pinks open so I'm not flipping you around constantly. No, I didn't say flipping you off. <laughs> I only have to turn the book once for each of these shapes then. <laughs> so, yeah, it was really nice to chat with you guys again. There's still a bunch of other stuff I wanted to talk to you about, but uh, that'll be for the next color and chat then. And I'm sure I will have some more moving news. I'll have to let you know how that 
house turns out that we are looking at tomorrow. Don't think I'll be able to get a color and chat in tomorrow, but hopefully on Wednesday or Thursday, I will be doing a color and chat out of the um, new pattern Jade Summer books that I got. It's not newly on the market, but I did find out from a subscriber that it has, in fact, only been out for a while, little while. Because I said in that review, I'm like, I can't believe I didn't have this book. It's a pattern book. And yeah, then I found out it was only on the market for a few weeks. But I, I don't know, I somehow still missed it. <laughs> so yeah, I will be coloring out of one of those with, or one of those, with that book. No, that still ain't right. Oh, my heavens, Lisa. Can you tell I'm tired? <laughs> I will be coloring out of that book with one of my sets of alcohol markers. That is what I meant to say, and I finally got it out. I'm thinking maybe my Kaylee Arts. I have not had those out for a while. I was debating between the Cali Arts and my Limoche. I just like saying that. Limoche. <laughs> and I'm probably saying it totally wrong. <laughs> but I do believe it is French, so to me, Limoche <laughs> sounds French. <laughs> so that's what I'm going with. Like I said, probably totally wrong, but I can't imagine it being, let's see, however it's spelt, Limouchette <laughs> is about how it's uh, spelt, Limouchette, yeah, or Limouchette, that's about how it's spelt, Limouchette, that is definitely not French, so... We shall stick with Limoche. See, told you I like saying it. <laughs> One more time, Limoche. <laughs> uh, yes, I get kind of slap happy when I'm tired sometimes. Oh, my, my, my. And I was going to do some things yet tonight, and I'm like, no. Nope. I am going to dedicate tonight, finally, to getting some videos done, and especially this color and chat. First, I was just going to do the color and chat and then clean out some things, but like now, I have a number of other videos to make too that I am just going to sit down and I'm going to, as long as I have everything set up anyhow that we will just go ahead and record them all and then I will have some videos to put out for you guys again not that I want to put off doing another color and chat mind you <laughs> sure she's going to record a bunch of flip throughs again and then that's it no I will Put another color in chat in there in between. And I promise I will do another one this week. For those of you that like my color in chats, maybe not all of you do. <laughs> and that's fine. You can skip right past them. But it is kind of a color in chat channel, so. You do get some of that. You do get swatching and product reviews and flip throughs and also some giveaways. I am, by the way, thanks to all of you guys, getting close to 2,500 subscribers. I have been slowing down somewhat. Um, and I'm assuming, you know, some of it has to do with me not uh, recording as much lately. Um, but that's okay. 
I will get there. But I'm thinking, even though it's 2500 and I did do a giveaway at 2000 I'm thinking I will because I haven't in a while that I will do a giveaway for 2,500 subscribers. So, we will see when that happens. Oops, sorry, I hit the camera. All right, we are done with the one that we picked the colors out on. Now, when you do have the black background, you don't wanna go too dark because as you can see, even this purple, because it is on the darker side, it's real hard to pick out. Um, I mean, you can kind of tell the difference between the purple and then the black that they have in it. Um, but just like grayscale, you know, with grayscale too, you can't ever go with too dark of colors or you lose the grayscale, right? Um, the same is kind of true with any black background type of pictures. So let's zoom back out a little bit and let's compare my version with Sun Life Drawings version. And I like them both. But this just goes to show you that the exact same pattern can look so, or mandala in this case, can look so totally, totally different with different colors. You know, 10 of us could color the exact same mandala. We would all pick, of course, different colors. <clears throat> or maybe even similar colors, but place them differently, all of the mandalas or patterns would look totally, totally different. And you can throw any colors together and they're going to look awesome. Like this color scheme, I mean, I would have never picked this to go together and yet it looks great. That's why I'm really... You know, I can't wait to get to the rest of these to see what colors they throw together. And then, you know, if I really like them, I'm going to jot these colors down and I'm going to use them in a future pattern with my gel pens. <laughs> so I'm going to steal some of their color palettes. <laughs> oh, don't tell Sun Life Drawing that. Shh, you didn't hear that. Okay, I don't steal. Anyhow, yes, slap happy Lisa. Mm. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this color and chat. Finally got around to one. <laughs> if you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a terrific beginning of their week. And as always, happy coloring. Bye, guys.